What is up everyone, welcome back to our channel and welcome to a weekend vlog where we are just having a bit of a chill one I think. We're gonna go and see my mum and my dad take the boys there for the first time, aren't we? Yeah. Last no. time you came you were in mummy's tummy. Get some more of our home gym done. Listen. And just show you kind of like our weekend slash routine kind of thing with twins. These boys are almost six months now. Yeah, and lots changed since we last did our um, routine video. So we thought it might be good for us to show you. We're also gonna talk a little bit about how they've been sleeping through the four month progression and how we've been doing with the sleep training that we've been doing. Because they finally slept through the night, didn't they? Yeah which yeah. is amazing. Right now, we are gonna feed these boys because they've just woken up and they are hungry. And then I'm gonna make a coffee. If you enjoy this video, please remember to hit the thumbs up and also subscribe because we know that a lot of you aren't actually subscribed to our channel. Yes, 52%. But do watch our video. So please, please, please subscribe because it really does help the channel. Are you eating my arm? <laughs> Pretty much as soon as we wake up, we feed the boys and they absolutely love this morning feed. And this is usually the time when they go to the toilet and you can tell by his face, face says it all. Then the boys will go on their play mat and play together for a little bit. Right, once the boys have had their milk and they're down on their play mat, it's time for me to make a coffee. The reason I wait, you would have seen Ella make a coffee with this very quick. Mine is a little bit different. We both love coffee, but there's a massive contrast to how we have our coffee. Ellen will have the most ratchet instant coffee and she's really not bothered. She hates the taste of my nicer coffee. Whereas I will spend 10 minutes making a coffee. Tastes great and a nice positive mug to start the weekend. Mommy, mommy. Mommy Once we are caffeinated, we then have lots of fun playing with the boys before they go down for their first nap. Should have seen that one coming. Hey! How do you do? It's always such a big surprise when I see those big brown eyes. The landing is the new bedroom because they sleep now and we can't get changed. As soon as they are asleep, it's all systems go for getting housework done and any prep that is needed to be done for the day. And it's not usually long before this happens. Right, do you want a job? <laughs> I wondered how long it would take before. Okay, what's my job? You can take all of that stuff to the garage and sort it out into lights and darks. Okay. So we've been working on building our garage gym over the last month and so we decided to use some of their nap time to build our squat rack and it wasn't long before the bickering started. Hey, Listen, flick this like that mm. and now tighten I've it. it. I've done it. Oh so before the boys wake up, I need to have my breakfast and I get asked this so many times how I make my oats. So I'm gonna show you how I make my oats. These are actually protein oats. Sometimes I have them for the protein, sometimes I have them just because I'm a creature of habit and literally have a meltdown if I don't have them. If you've been here for a while, you'll know that Lidl, where I live, have actually stopped stocking cherries, sour cherries. Somebody called Nick actually brought them down from Scotland for me. She didn't just travel from Scotland to bring me cherries. She's got family who live here where we live. So bought me some. I can now have my oats again. Although, while I didn't have my cherries, I did get into having raspberries and it's a very close second. Mm. 
I actually make my oats in a pan with water. So when I'm cutting and trying to lose body fat, I will measure out my oats. But when I'm not, I just kind of estimate how much I want in there. I go for around 50 grams of oats. Please do not judge the state of this pan. We've had them for years. <laughs> I basically put one part oats and two parts water. So they are cooked. Now I need to add a scoop of protein. I actually use the salted caramel um, one from Bulk, but I also sometimes use this one. I would personally say that the Bulk powders one is actually better. So you just stir that in and then pop it into the bowl. Then add cherries or whatever fruit there. Then I push it down into the oats. The best bit, add the honey. And there we go. Probably doesn't look the best appetizing, but let me tell you, it tastes absolutely delicious. Good morning. Hi. Hi. Good morning. Right, we're dressed and ready for the day. So the boys have been suffering really bad with eczema recently and nothing seems to be clearing it up. Like nothing that they give us from the doctors is clearing it up. So I was speaking to a few people on Instagram about sun creams to use and somebody suggested using this Aveeno Baby Daily Care Moisturizer. It's got a prebiotic oatmeal. Oatmeal? Prebiotic oatmeal, oatmeal in it. And apparently it's really good for eczema. So we're trialing it with the boys, but we put Child's Farm on them, the moisturiser, for one day and they literally broke out in like red raw rashes. So we can't use Child's Farm, unfortunately. Not that it's but, bad, it's just because they got sensitive skin. Oh yeah, no, not because it's bad. I mean, so many people have such positive yeah. experiences with it. Just our boys reacted to it. If your baby has suffered with really bad eczema, like what did you use to clear it up? Because we're not having much luck. I mean, we're trialing this now. We used it last night and they haven't broke out any worse than what they were. In fact, I would probably say it's helped yeah. a little bit, hasn't it? Yeah. But is there anything that you've used that has cleared your baby's eczema up? Go! Oh. <laughs> Once the boys are sorted for the day, that is when we will get changed and usually the boys watch something for 10 minutes. Today, this was sensory turtles, which they love. I also continued with some housework and we actually managed to get a lot done. I hoovered and mopped the whole house, which is a big win. Are we? Milk? Milk? <laughs> we always get asked why we feed our babies in this position, which is called elevated side lying. Well, when we were in hospital, the midwives taught us how to do this as it mimics breastfeeding. And the boys absolutely love it and are most comfortable feeding in this position, so we just haven't changed it. What coffee number is that? Point to the back of Noah's head. Look at that hair growth, guys. So we have changed over to the silk cot sheets because the boys, um, as like a soothing method, they rub their heads to the side like this and it created a massive ball patch on the back of both their heads, but now it's literally all grown back. Mm. It's all fuzzy again. Yeah, we got them from Amazon. I'll link them below if yeah. anyone wants to get them, but they've actually, worked. Yeah, they have it's grown worked. back, look. This nap is always the dodgy one. I don't know what it is, but they really struggle with their second nap of the day. During this nap, we did some more of the home gym and we made a huge error, which you'll see in the build video soon. Was that meant to go on first then? Boys are awake. i tell you what, they are napping incredibly today, aren't they, Al? Yeah. They are smashing the naps so. out. We're doing the Ferber method of sleep training at the moment, aren't we? And we're yeah. on day four or five? Five. Day five. <laughs> Growling at me. And these boys are taking to it really, really well, yeah. aren't they? I will go more, I'll talk more about it in the car on the way to Dad's mum's house. I'm gonna ring my mum quickly because we don't know what we're doing for lunch. We're going in an hour, it's 12 now. We've managed to get a lot done in the home gym despite messing up. Hi, mum, you're right. Hello, love, yeah, you okay? Just have lunch here or? I've made, made lasagna, love. Okay, buddy. <laughs> it's a healthy one, okay? 
Are you excited to see the boys? Of course I am. I'm excited to see you all. Cool. Oh. Oh my. What's it? We're out on a walk. It's that time of year where you can smell freshly cut grass. It's a beautiful day today in England. Summer is on the way and I'm so excited for it with these boys as well, are you? Yeah, I just you know, I can't wait for to dress them in like summer clothes. I know. Like how cute the babies in like little shorts and stuff. Yeah, t-shirt and shorts. We're gonna grab a little snack now because we don't really have much at home. Then we are gonna head to my mum's house. You may have heard on the phone, we've not been there since Ellen was pregnant. <laughs> We actually moved closer to my mum, so we're like half an hour, 40 minutes away now. But they've been coming to ours constantly. This is what we went for, my protein cookie and Sprite. New flavour apparently, but how disgusting is this? These two cost 175, 280, over four pounds. Quick mass. Mac and cheese bait. Oh, is it good? Mm. It and some mango. Oh yeah. And a rubber cotton. This is what I have to resort to the rest of the way home. Keep Ari awake. Hey, okay. keep those eyes open. You all right? We're just leaving ours now. We're going to go to Mum's. Uh, oh, he's awake. Hello. Right, boys have been fed and mum has made us lasagna and garlic bread. Look at this. Ooh, is this homemade, mum? Yes, I is made it. Yes, yes. No, 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 I wouldn't do that. Oh. You want to give him a kiss? No, you can't give him a kiss. Isn't he lovely? <laughs> so we're on the way back from Fab's parents' house now. It's actually really lovely to take the boys to their house. The boys absolutely love having a new um, they were just taking it all in, weren't they? Yeah, they love having a new environment. And now they're absolutely zonko in the car, having their nap. Which actually reminds me that I promised that I would talk about sleep training on here. If you don't agree with sleep training, if you don't want to listen to sleep, sleep training, please just skip ahead. Um, we're not forcing you to watch this or listen to it. So if you don't agree with it, please just skip ahead. I think we briefly spoke about it in the last video that we were gonna start trying it because the boys were really not sleeping well at night. Like me and Fab were having like two hours sleep a night. It was really quite horrific. So I basically joined a safe sleep training group for twins. I was speaking to a few child sleep therapists on there about the boys sleep and how to do things safely etc etc so the method that we're following is the Ferber method which is the gentler sleep training method as such which basically gives babies time to self-soothe rather than going in straight away and soothing them yourself so what we're doing personally everybody does things differently and we have slightly adjusted the method to suit us um, the boys are obviously five months old and we as a parent do not feel comfortable with them leaving our bedroom yet I don't know when we'll feel comfortable with them leaving our bedroom so we are sleep training them in our room with us they're literally still in their next to me cribs next to us what we've been doing is we're doing two separate things for day and night time I'll start with night time um, and I'm not saying at all that I know it all like whatsoever however i have spoken to um child sleep therapists i've joined lots of groups i've done lots of research not like i've just kind of seen somebody else doing it and i'm doing it i have done research into it night time we are doing timers so we'll put the boys down we'll give them their bottle basically at night time then they're still awake but they're 
sleepy, aren't they, Fab? Yeah. And then we'll put them in their next to me cribs. They'll either take themselves off to sleep or they'll like stir a little bit or like try and put themselves to sleep. And if they start crying, you then put a timer on. So for the first night, for example, you will start at three minutes. So it's a really short period of time that you let them cry for. Um, and then if they haven't stopped crying by the end of the three minutes, you go in and you help settle them and you just reassure them that you're still there. The space that they're in is safe so that they can go to sleep. As a parent, your natural instinct is to go in and pick your baby up and to take them out of the crib and to hold them. But what you're actually teaching them by doing that is that that crib is not a safe place. You need to teach them that their crib is a safe place for them. But if you're taking them away from that crib, and taking them out of it, the baby's thinking, well, I'm obviously being taken out of here. So it's not a very safe place for me to be. By soothing them in the cot still, you're teaching them that they are safe and they're loved and you know that you're there for them. However, they need to learn how to self-soothe themselves back to sleep. And then the daytime is a bit different. Now, babies actually have, a, use a different part of their brain for nighttime and daytime sleeping. Our boys used to be really good at daytime sleeping, but not very good at nighttime sleeping, didn't they, Fab? Yeah. And now they seem to have switched, haven't they? We follow wake windows. So for our babies, their wake windows are one hour 15 for the first wake window, one and a half hours, then one and a half hours, then one hour and 45 minutes, then one hour and 45 minutes. Um, and that's basically the time that they're awake in between naps. So once that wake window's up, you take them up, you give them sleep cues so for example our baby sleep cues are white noise if you haven't got a white noise machine in your sleep training i 100 percent recommend it our boys as soon as they hear their white noise machine they are like drowsy and they're all like a darkened room so when they go for a nap it's completely dark um, and we also use a baby monitor to monitor the babies on but basically you take them up you put them down for a nap again you don't take them up asleep you take them up sleepy they have a crib hour so they stay in their crib for the whole hour if they wake up before the hour's over over they just stay there and they lie in their crib you don't go in and take them out as soon as they wake up you allow them to lie there and if they want to go back to sleep then they can if they don't want to go to sleep then they just lie there and they um, wait for you to come back. What we've noticed is that now, whereas they used to just scream if you wouldn't, if they'd wake up. Yeah. Now, sometimes they wake up and they just lay there and just Yeah, chill. they do. They do because... because they're comfortable. Really they're comfortable well. and they know that that place where they are is a safe place and they know that we always, always come back. It's not... We, we don't leave them to cry. We don't leave them to just put themselves to sleep by crying that's not at all what this method is about but yeah now the boys are having are using that whole hour to nap they're having an hour nap rather than having what were they having like before like 20 minutes yeah they'd wake up all the time wouldn't they they'd wake up all the time we'd go up we'd take them out we'd walk them back to sleep we'd they put them down five sometimes now, five minutes later we'd go, pardon they still wake up now but they can send themselves back to sleep themselves. Exactly, yeah. On the third night, like everybody said, they slept through the night. They just woke up for their feed and then they went back to sleep and were asleep until they woke up in the morning. I could not believe that. Probably. No, exactly. It really does work. And I know there's a lot of bad press about sleep training and that you're just teaching your baby not to cry, but let me reassure you, <laughs> these babies cry if they need something. If they need something in the day, they will cry and tell you, won't they? Yeah. It's not like we have taught them not to cry for things. Uh, so it is quarter to five. So we have got an hour before they go to bed. <laughs> Do you want to run them through then what we do before bed? So, before bed, we make sure that all of the bottles are washed and mm -hmm. in there. Yeah. We make their milk to go to bed. We've actually started using boiled water with the formula because it actually helps with the boys' reflux. Yeah, instead um, of the prep machine. Yeah. We, we use the prep machine for one feed in the night. Yeah, because I think the prep machine makes it quite bubbly, doesn't it? Like, I don't know. But it works, whatever. Whatever we've done, it's working. Dummies for the night, we actually have the glow-in-the-dark mum dummies. They are a game changer. Yeah, if you don't use glow-in-the-dark dummies, just tr switch. And then we also get their pyjamas ready on the bed when they come out of their bath. 
We put their towels. towels over there, change them out in the bathroom. Nappies ready for the night. Nappies ready for the night. I've just done all that. Filled up the prep machine for the night feed. We just try and be as organized as we can, especially for the nighttime routine. Yeah. Because if, you, if it, you're if you not organized, it's absolute chaos. It is, yeah. Did you see that? The kids fly past no, on their bikes. their mum. Was it? Yeah, on the bike. That is class. <laughs> I love that. She was on her daughter's bike. She oh, literally really? whizzed Demon past pass. on it. That's so funny. I can't wait. This is state run. Is there's kids that go out and play on their bikes and stuff. It's a proper it's like, a proper, old like school oh, yeah, safe, estate, private yeah. estate. So like, it's going to be amazing for the boys to be able to play when they're older. Yeah. Uh, what's going on here? You have got oh. your foot in oh. Ari's mouth. We got this new whale bath toy that like you can't see it now, but when it's dark, it lights up and it sprays. And the boys are, are a bit sus of it at the moment. <laughs> They're trying to figure it out, aren't they? The boys are now in bed and we are just cooking tea. We're actually doing it together. Fab is just behind the camera. And tonight, like always, we have got HelloFresh. Tonight we've got crispy Cajun fried chicken. What's been your favorite HelloFresh so far? I told you I that can... roasted vegetable and bacon. Or we had a curry once. Yeah. It was like a, was it? That was what coconut I was gonna curry. say. Coconut curry, yes. Every time we order HelloFresh, I always look for that curry. If you don't use HelloFresh, why not? Because we actually have a really good discount code for you, which is FAE60, which will get you 60% off your first box and then 25% off your eight boxes after that. Nine boxes. Nine boxes! I'll continue making the food then. You continue just looking pretty. Okay. And there we go. This is what it looks like. So we're going to go and eat this now. And a huge thank you to HelloFresh for sponsoring this part of the video. We are going to go and get to bed now. And I just wanted to say thank you to anyone who supports this channel. We're almost at 40,000 subscribers. A massive thank you for all of your support recently. It doesn't go unnoticed. We literally sit and read every single comment under the videos. So thank you so much if you comment, if you like, if you... Yeah, whatever you anything. do it's amazing You're and we do watching. really really i know there's lots of silent watchers i always forget to comment on people's videos yeah, same so if you're one of those people then come and say hello in the comments <laughs> also go and follow us over on tiktok and instagram because we're obviously posting a lot more over there as well yeah thank you so much if you made it to the end of this video massive thank you for all of your support recently we'll see you in next week's video bye